Dance. Right now, woke up a little bit later. As you guys can see, 4.30, I was still at the house, uh, but just finished a, a nice little workout. My first day back at the gym since the 5K run, um, but I feel good, I feel good. Um, yeah, so one thing I do wanna talk about is health, because, again, I'm trying to document my journey and just basically my life. Um, So basically, I took a, um, a blood test this past weekend on Saturday uh, to test, you know, just make sure I'm all good, healthy, and everything. Uh, one thing that they found, oh, I'll wait. So one thing they found, they sent me my results yesterday, and then I noticed that um, everything looked good except for my total cholesterol level and my LPL cholesterol, which is like the bad cholesterol, or the LDL. Uh, one of those two, but the bad cholesterol was was pretty high up as well as my total cholesterol which is weird because uh, My diet right now just doesn't have It's not high on like in cholesterol. So I'm doing the keto diet currently and usually the keto diet is supposed to lower your total cholesterol but um, after doing some research and everything there are like a small number of individuals that do a keto diet that that um, the cholesterol levels do raise so currently I'm in the process of I, I guess I, <laughs> I could still do the keto diet but I think I'm gonna switch over to just a low carb diet uh, switch switch my diet up uh, just a little bit so I could lower that cholesterol uh, there's still a possibility that I could probably stay on the keto diet but at this point I need to make some adjustments just because again the, the cholesterol levels they sent me were actually really high like near the max and that that obviously increases the chance of heart attack or stroke and i was like near the top so uh, i'm not sure if it was like a probably like a bad test uh you know something could have affected it because i feel pretty good but um still i gotta take that seriously because you know they did a blood test and usually that stuff doesn't lie yeah man uh, hopefully you guys have are having a good week and so hopefully you guys are having a good week but I'm about to get ready for work. Um, it's a big day at work today. I have a pretty much a, a meeting, a one-on-one -on -one meeting where I have to do a presentation uh, for the vice president. So it's gonna be pretty nerve wracking, but at the same time, you gotta exude confidence um, and just you know show that you, you know what you're talking about and people respect that. If you're not confident in what you're presenting, then, then why would someone else be confident in what you're presenting? So it's all about showing confidence and being um, able to take ownership of your work uh, again i'm not gonna get into too much detail but pretty excited for this opportunity again it's just one-on-one -on -one meeting with a present a pretty big presentation um but yeah all right you guys i'm back at home just got done with a day of work hard day at work might have had um had a good presentation with the vp um this at my corporate job but now i'm at home uh, one thing i was able to do was actually fix my computer so my laptop is back on uh, the only bad thing is that I will need to upload everything back onto the laptop. So we'll see how that goes. Currently, you'll see here, walk over. As you can see, I'm reinstalling uh, Premiere, but um, laptop is officially working. So it was a long process, but we were able to get everything completed. Uh, Dell's um, support, support assistance, it's not a paid product placement, but Dell support assistance has actually been pretty good. I was able to back up everything I needed and I was able to select specific files even though the computer is not able to let me log in. I saved it to my external hard drive to where then I was able to do a cloud restore. So by the time I got home, the computer was um, already factory reset. I just needed to do all the setup and the welcome stuff that basically it, it, it acted as if I just took it out the box. So I'm happy about that. I'm able to uh, edit, edit. Oops. Uh, I'm able to edit my videos a little bit faster um, and get out a little bit more content for you guys. So 
So for all of you guys that are watching the video, I want to thank you so much for showing your support. Again, I don't really care about the views. This is something for me to accomplish my goals, also to keep myself accountable. It's It's been a cool journey. And I know I, I use that word a lot. It's been a cool journey to, to vlog and kind of show my experience and, you know, again, accomplish goals and conquer my fears, whether it be vlogging, daily vlogging or vlogging in public. You know, again, don't let somebody else put their limits on you. Uh, if they're not willing to do it, that doesn't mean you can't do it. Um, we're in a society now where people are f quicker to discourage you than they are to encourage you. Not to, you know, they're, they're more likely to try to talk you away from doing something rather than doing it. And don't listen to that, you know. I mean, again, there's people out there that that do mean good and they want to provide, you know, valuable information because you're a friend or a family member. Um, but at the same time, you know, you could take bits and pieces and, and figure out which is the best decision. Um, but at the same time, you know, those that are usually quick to discourage you from doing something or saying, hey, that's pretty difficult to do or this or that, like, you don't really need that. And try not to listen to that. Again, the only person you should be competing with is yourself, your, your head. Um, challenge yourself, challenge your mind. Your mind is always quick to, to deceive you and to discourage you as well. Uh, for example, when while running in my 5K, I wanted to stop. My mind was telling me to stop running, just start walking. You know, you're you're hitting that peak, and I told myself, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna run through this whole thing, and you know, I don't care. I had my mindset as soon as I, you know, took that first jog, you know, past the starting line, I knew that I was gonna finish jogging through the finish line. And that's just how it is. If you guys want to do something, go 100 miles an hour at it. Don't wait. Uh, I've, I've been in the situation where I've waited to accomplish goals or always set it off. And I would tell people, hey, I had this this idea and this idea. And everybody would be like, oh, that's a cool idea. And then I would just never do it. You know, take take action on it. And one of those things that I'm doing right now is taking action on, on vlogging. I want to vlog. so. I say I'm a daily vlog. I am daily vlogging, so that's just what it is. Uh, but hey, I appreciate you got your guys' support. Again, this was a little bit shorter video, a lot more talking, not really adventure. Um, we'll have more adventure ones coming up soon. I'm gonna be recording a lot more. I'm still learning how to use the camera. But if you guys like the video, hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys get that notification when I upload new videos, which is every day at 9 p.m. Uh, we would definitely like to have you as part of the team. And as always, action turns knowledge to power, and I'll see you guys next video.